It's a beginning and an ending. Rain falls from saturated skies, plummeting to earth. Some soaks into the soil and makes its way to storage areas deep underground. Most of the rain remains on the surface, in the soil, collecting in puddles, running off to lakes, creeks, streams, the ocean. The sun is the engine that drives the hydrologic cycle. The warmth of the sun causes water to evaporate. Thirsty plants contribute by drinking their fill and then releasing the remaining moisture as vapor, a process known as transpiration. Together, these two processes, evapotranspiration, send the water back into the sky to form clouds that grow heavy with moisture and produce rain. The water cycle remains unbroken. Water is continuously recycled. There's the same amount of water on Earth today as there was when man first arrived. The water that dinosaurs drank is the same water we use today for play, to drink, to grow food, and to make products. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, visit our website at watermatters.org. This video was produced by the Southwest Florida Water Management District.